Look, dive into the internet and what do you find? A whopping 90% of the relationship advice out there is all about becoming the perfect guy to snag a girl. They teach us, fellas, that you've got to earn your stripes, do some grand gestures, the whole shebang. From the time you're a kid in school to the moment you're collecting your pension, it's hammered into your skull. Court the girl. They paint this picture that to score a good woman, you've got to hustle. Pursue her. Shower her with gifts. Pull off these grand stunts to win her over. Maybe even pop the question on bended knee. And they call this normal male behavior in the psychology books. But let me lay it straight. It's nothing but humiliation. We're out here, pouring in our blood and soul just for a nod of approval. It's like shouting, look at me, I'm ready to give it all for you. This whole psychology game, this brainwashing, it's sly. Its mission? Make a man forget about himself, his own worth. You're on a mission, and in the process, you're feeding the beast, her ego. And here's the kicker. No one's going to spill the beans that being Mr. Nice Guy might turn her into a self-absorbed diva, always expecting but never truly savoring the good treatment she gets. Thankfully, in the midst of all this mind-bending nonsense, there's a psychology that stands against the tide, the men's movement, where guys are championing realness. This is the kind of psychology your old man should have schooled you on from day one. Unfortunately, many of us missed out on those lessons. Personally, I barely had heart-to-hearts with my old man about relationships. There was no sage to drop some wisdom on how to navigate the labyrinth of women. Sure, I had buddies, but more than half of them were battling the demon of shyness. Only one dude in my crew could shoot the breeze about relationships and drop some truth bombs. It wasn't until I hit 17 that I clued in. Being too nice to girls doesn't cut it. Even back then, I clocked that girls don't value the royal treatment. So I flipped the script tried being a bit rougher. And guess what? It worked like a charm compared to my nice guy attempts. Slap some rudeness on a girl, deny her the expectation that you'll play the chivalrous card in public, and bam, you've got her attention. Case in point, a bus ride from three years ago. Bought a ticket to another town, had a sweet spot by the window. Come departure time, I step onto the bus, and there's this young, gorgeous thing in my seat. She looks at me like I'm supposed to be a silent lamb, just take it. But I ain't one to stay quiet. I told her to get up. She eyed me like it wasn't supposed to go down like that. But hey, I coughed up the cash for the ticket, so I did the right thing. Here's the kicker. When we rolled into our stop an hour later, she struck up a conversation with me, asked about my job, what I did, and I'm dead sure if I had played the statue given up my seat, she probably wouldn't have given me a second look. And let me tell you, it's not just a one-off tale from my life. I've come to realize time and again that being a bit rough around the edges with a girl, letting your character shine, earns you kindness and affection. And when you unapologetically reveal yourself, even if it's a bit rugged, it screams self-respect. You're signaling to the woman that you value what you've got. The true titans of personality never give a damn about what others think. Other people's opinions? That's a one-way ticket to the abyss in 90% of cases. We're force-fed all sorts of garbage and taught things that'll wreck our lives. When you tune into those bloggers preaching that you should treat a girl like a diamond, you quickly realize it's a recipe for relationship disaster. But here's the kicker. Without some rough patches and the relationship hiccups that might come with it, you won't get an insider's guide to understanding women. Until a woman pulls the rug from under you at least once, you won't crack open the right psychology playbook. Sure, you can roll for a bit on the theory that niceness, care, and affection are the keys to a successful relationship. But mark my words, that model will run out of gas. You'll clock that you're giving more than you're getting. And when that starts to bug you in your love life, you'll become the green-eyed monster, throwing shade at your girl. You'll start feeling dissatisfied from a self-respect standpoint. So, here's the deal. It's great to be clueless and not get a thing. I mean, there are dudes out there who keep getting dumped, and what do they do? They continue the marathon, chasing after these girls, throwing flowers left and right. These fellas genuinely believe the time hasn't come yet, and they need to keep chasing. Because, you know, that's what their old man and Miss Thompson from school taught them. Girls are swimming in attention and kindness. When you're getting a ping from one or two gals in your DMs, rest assured, those girls are dealing with a dozen or more guys. 
To build something real with them, women either roll with these over-the-top dominant dudes who are perennially under their thumb, but hey, they're bringing home the bacon. Or they pick a guy who throws them off their game, one who won't be chasing after them. I'm talking about a dude who can stand his ground, not some lap dog. Let's get real here. Women don't need 90% of the guys they're chatting with. But then, why the heck do they even bother with these no-go situations? Well, buckle up. Because here's the kicker. Women are downright scared of loneliness. They dread the idea of being useless because, let's face it, if she's not chatting up anyone, it's like a neon sign blinking, not attractive. A woman's got to be convinced she's got value, that others find her attractive. This fear, my friend, it could stick around for a lifetime. Even when she's all cozied up with a dude every now and then, that loneliness bug creeps in. When the relationship vibe chills a bit, she convinces herself that no one needs her anymore. Let's talk about the slow burn of relationships. You see, as time rolls on and relationships settle into that comfortable groove, women start acting all kinds of peculiar. She might go months without bothering with makeup, and then one day, bam, she's all glammed up like she's about to walk down the aisle. Now, here's the lowdown. Routine turns women into purveyors of all kinds of ridiculous relationship-wrecking thoughts. A woman craves constant emotional kicks in a relationship, whether they're sugar-sweet or have a dash of bitterness. From the standpoint of staying power, women get weary of the good stuff. Meaning, if you try too hard to keep her pleased, each time you'll need to up the ante to keep her surprised, and eventually you'll hit a ceiling. That's why it's crucial to stick with the second strategy. Be a bit of a pain about yourself. If she catches on that she's perpetually short of your effort, those sweet emotions, she'll become hooked on you, figuring out ways to make you happy. And if she's putting in the effort to please you, the chances of her walking out on you are close to zilch. So here's the real deal. Women who stick around and genuinely value their men never end up calling the shots in their relationships. I'm telling you, I've yet to witness a scenario where a woman was 100% content with a guy who played doormat. Deep down, these ladies are always a bit discontent. They're daydreaming about other men, maybe even a roll in the hay with them. These women fantasize about being dominated and put in their place. Now, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of it. If you're flunking on all fronts but the lady hasn't hit the road, it's probably because it's serving her interests to stick around. But let me break it down for you. There's no love in that equation. So it's paramount to respect and value yourself right from the get-go. When a woman tries to take the reins, put her in her place, utter things she'd rather not hear. You don't have to be the easygoing guy in relationships, but you darn well need to create an environment where you're comfortable. Let's be real. Relationships are utterly pointless if you're walking on eggshells day in and day out. Have some self-respect and don't be scared. If things don't align with her expectations, she might bolt. But on the flip side, if everything is always sailing smoothly her way, she'll be out the door. Friends, if this hit a nerve or struck a chord, toss that like button a solid click.